everybody. My name is Daniel Fink, and this is my 3.2 presentation for Turnamental. Um, the mechanic I decided to implement was the WISP mechanic from Logan Dickman. I did change a few things with it. Um, I know that he ha currently had the patrol for it, and it was like an orb that can push the player, or if a player interacted with it, it would, it would reset the player which I decided to make it right around the same patrol, except I didn't want it to bump or move anything. And I didn't want to be able to block it off with like a box. So if I do get hit by the ghost, it will actually send me back. So, and that's pretty much how it works. I can dip into like the little circles and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and go in there and uh, work on showing you the rest of it on how I got it to go. Alright, so let's go and open up my ghost. I ended up making two of them, a child and a normal ghost for it. Now I didn't follow along with a lot of Logan's video. Um, he, For me it kind of went really quick and it was hard to follow. So I was pretty much wanted to do it in a way that I could, you know, still replicate the patrol aspect and the player reset. So this is how I did it. So off the event begin play off our air patrol setup, I created the timeline and if I use six seconds and I broke it off from zero, 1.5 and eight, um, 3.48 and 8 and 0 and 5 so and then of course I set the relative location of my skeletal mesh because I'm using a skeletal mesh because I changed it to the ghost uh, my component of course is the capsule so I can encompass the ghost And then as soon as I run that off, I run the normal standard LERP for uh, my locations on the skeletal mesh. So it'd give me the, let's go to cinema here. It'd give it that patrol effect going back and forth. And the reason why I made a child is because I had to alter the distance traveled from the second ghost from the first, because there's a lot less squares to travel. And I wouldn't say a lot less squares, but there are fewer squares to travel. And then as I set the relative location, I put a delay on there because I wanted it to turn around. So it would delay for three seconds, then I'd take a 180 and turn around. Then I'd delay for another 3.1, which would give it time to go back and turn back around for another 180. And I put it, and I set it back to the base stat, so he would, it would look like it's turning as it reaches the end. Now the death collider, I cast it to the player pawn because I was having issues with getting actor of class. The ghost, somehow my spikes were hitting the ghost, and it kept resetting me. So once I casted it to the player instead of grabbing an actor of class. I still ran the same branch and then I of course went back to my base map and then reloaded it back in. Now for the second one, like I said, it's pretty much the exact same thing. The death still works because it's a child class of the former class. And I just adjusted my start and end. Everything else is the same. I just ended up adjusting start and end. That being said, guys, that was my 3.2 presentation, driver presentation. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you uh, make your own little game wisps.